Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Barbara Bailey. I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. Part of Interstate 64 remains closed here at midday after a deadly crash. It happened about 7 o'clock this morning in the westbound lanes near the Bath Rowan County line. Now, state police say witnesses say it looked like a car blew a tire and was hit by a semi. The driver was killed. WKYT's Mark Barber is live in Bath County now with the latest on the investigation. It's our top story at noon. Good afternoon, Barbara. One of the westbound lanes here is still closed as crews work to clear the mangled wreck. They think it could take a few more hours until they're able to reopen this last lane that is closed because they say they still have to tow away that wrecked semi and they also have to clean up a lot of the diesel fuel that spilled onto the area here beside the interstate. Now, state police are here. They are working uh, right beside those cleanup crews as they continue their investigation into this crash that killed one man and injured two others. The deadly rack happened. Rather, the deadly wreck happened around 7 this morning near the Bath Rowan County line, backing up traffic on the interstate for miles. Dispatchers say the traffic trouble started when a tractor trailer slammed into a car that was stopped in the fast lane. Witnesses told state police that the car appeared to blow a flat tire before the crash. The driver of the car died in the wreck. The coroner has not identified him yet, but he tells me it appears as if the man is from Lexington. The second man who was in the car was flown to UK hospital in critical condition. The driver of the semi, a man from Tennessee, was taken to a hospital in Moorhead, but he was not seriously hurt. State police say they are still trying to determine whether someone is to blame for the fatal crash or whether this was just a terrible accident. If uh, our reconstruction has found out that, that one of the drivers were negligent, uh, then there could possibly be, possibly be charges, but for right now, I don't see any, any pending. State police say they will not leave the scene here until they're able to walk away with detailed information for the families who will certainly want answers. As far as the lane closure goes, once more, they're hoping to have everything back open here on the westbound lanes of I-64 near mile 19, or rather 128 in the next few hours. Live in Bath County, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. Now, we're told that diesel fuel spill does not pose a threat to the environment. Drivers who want to avoid backups are encouraged to take the detour at exit 133.